Jack, your first match in charge at the Paisley 2021 Stadium, maybe a disappointing result, but how did you assess a performance today? I think it was encouraging. You know, obviously I can't, I don't have any frame of reference in terms of the home performances this season, but I think the, the, the attitude and the commitment in the game was terrific. Um, I think we've created more opportunities than Dungeon United have today. They've been more clinical than us. Um, obviously the second goal was his individual mistakes as well, but I think, you know, from over the course of the whole game, there was a lot more good things and bad things. You know, there are, of course, areas that we need to improve upon. Um, you know, we'd already spoke about them previously anyway, so we're aware of them. They're aware of them as a group, we're aware of them as a staff, and, you know, the good thing now we have two weeks to try and um, improve upon them before next game. So, pretty much barring the result, were you overall encouraged with the performance today? Encouraged, you know, still disappointed because, uh, you know, the result is the be-all and end-all. You know, and we stressed that before the game, and I genuinely don't think it could have got much more from them commitment-wise. You know, um, I think they have pretty much the man emptied themselves out there today, and, and you need that every single week. It can't just be my first game in charge that that happens because of that incentive to try and impress. That's got to be that week in, week out. But that's how training will be. You know, there'll be this relentless aspect to it. Um, so, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, again, it's, it's very quick after the game, and sometimes you'll go and digest it a bit more and look at it again. But, but certainly, in my own eyes at the time, I thought that there was a great deal to be pleased about in, in the second half or desire to get something from the game. And I, I genuinely think if we hadn't conceded the second, I'm saying we would have because we still missed opportunities, but um, it would have given us that even greater incentive if you'd like known we would have got a result out of it. And Stevie Mallon kind of pulled up a bit in the first half and he came off about the hour mark. Is, how's he done? No, it's just a, it's just an impact injury. It's just a dead leg that um, he got in the first half and um, we were even concerned about half time, but he was okay. But I think he took a knock in the same area again at the start of the second half. So... Um, but, you know, it allowed us to get Lawrence on the pitch, we were going to do anyway. It just it just affected the personnel change, and, and I thought Lawrence was very good when he came on. You know, I thought he was um, really positive. He's had efforts at goal, um, which is encouraging for me as well to get that reaction from players that they weren't in the starting lineup. Well, that was going to be pretty much my question there. I was talking about Lawrence, he tested Cammy Bell with a chance there and had one headed off the line. Is that a chance when you bring these players on to come on and impress you and it's still, you know, you're a week into the job getting to know? some of these players and see what they're like on the football pitch. Yeah, exactly. It was one of the things I said pre-match was that this is my this is my first opportunity to see them um, at a competitive level up close and you know that's not ideal but that's what happens when you take a job when the season started. Um, so your challenge becomes greater and, and, and you have to react to it quicker if you like than if you're planning from close season to pre-season period. So there's players that that have the attributes I've known about and there's others that have surprised me with some of them and, and Lawrence even with, in training yesterday, you know, he has a real positive aspect about his play, he gets effort in, efforts in and goal at most every opportunity um, and more often not he hits target and he did that again today so really encouraging for him, it would, have been, it would have been great for him to get his reward for it but for me certainly moving forward it's great that he gave us that reaction today as well. And obviously the game next week won't be played as there's has um, been postponed, how does that work for you then to have a full week working with the players and is that a positive thing that you can get a whole week working with the players and then another week before there's an actual game? Yeah, I mean, it is a good thing. I know that if we'd won the game today, we'd have been asked about, you know, that disrupting momentum. But regardless of the result today, I was pleased about it because we'll come in every day next week, which allows us to work hard and, and we'll use it almost as a as a mini pre-season to, to, um, to try and top up our fitness levels again and it means then we can try and play at that intensity and impressing um, for long, longer periods of the game if you like and then have the energy to do good things with the ball when we get it because I think today we, we pressed really well at times and we showed that desire to get it back and then sometimes we just you know run out of steam a bit when it comes to that quality on the ball and that's just you know, we topped that up through this week so I'm pleased that we've got that as I said you know we'll use it properly um, and it allows, us, it allows me next weekend obviously to go and watch a couple of opposition teams as well um, which is good for my, for my benefit individually. And obviously there's no easy games in this league, but they do come thick and fast and the next game is against Hibs at Easter Road. How difficult is that going to be? Well, it's always a challenge. I said that about the result there last week. To win there in any competition at any time is a good result. So it shows you the, the, the task we'll have next week, but I'm um, sorry, in a fortnight's time. But again, uh, these games are the ones that players should enjoy. You know, playing in stadiums, whether it's this home stadium or grounds like Easter Road are terrific and it's what should lift you as a player. And again, if they go and play with the same desire that they showed today, and we've worked on other things in that fortnightly period, then, then they'll be good and they'll go into it in that frame of mind knowing that they've won there recently as well. And there was a good crowd in here today, over 3,500. How much encouragement do you think that the supporters give the players from the, the stands? Look, I, I, I don't want to be clichéd with it and hopefully supporters will find over time that I'll try and be frank and I'll try and be honest. And 
It's greatly appreciated today because I could feel it from the touchline in terms of how positive they were trying to be with the players. Look, I get why they're frustrated because I've been at this club when it was a Premiership club and, and to be in the position we're in now is, isn't acceptable for us as a whole club. Um, so I get why they'll go away again today disappointed. Um, but uh, you know, it's great for me to put on record how much I appreciated it today, how much the players did. Because it did lift us at times, I think you've seen that, enabled us to keep going in the game. And we'll need that over weeks to come because I said that to the players, we're in a difficult position just now. There's no quick turnaround, you know, it's a, but we'll be OK, we will be OK because we've got good players in there who want to do well for the club. It's about us then trying to get the best from them. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm thankful for that and, and I know from experience as well that if I can get things right on the pitch, which is my responsibility, then they'll respond to that. So um, I'll keep striving to do that. Perfect, thanks so much.